All right, so um, here, I want to start introduction to differentiation. And um, in order to get into differentiation, we want to start with looking at the gradient of a curve. Well, I'll start with the gradient of a line, the slope of a line, which uh, you already know. If I have a line on the, the xy plane, so let this be f of x, the function, and this is a straight line. Then, uh, if I pick a point, any point, x1 here, then the corresponding value on the uh, y axis is f x1. If I pick another point, call it x2, then, um, then um, the value on the y axis is x2. Right? Then the slope of this line, it doesn't matter where you uh, take these uh, points, the slope is fixed. Okay? The slope will be rise over round, right? Will be this over that. So the slope of the line, let's call that M, will be this height, that is F of X2, F of X2 minus F of X1 all over the run will be X2 minus X1. Alright? So if I knew what this function was, F of X was equal to say X or X squared, um, and you pick any two points along this, then the slope is fixed, it's a constant. I could have picked points here and there, and the slope will still be fixed. So this is familiar to us. We know how to find the slope of a line. Now what we want is to find the slope or the gradient of a curve. In the case of a curve, so let me use this to illustrate. In the case of a curve, the slope is not fixed along the curve, right? So if I want to find the slope of a point here, call it x1 or x, right? How do I do that? Because it is not a straight line like this. You could, you could start by saying, okay, to find the slope at this point, well, let me take a point here and find this slope, right? The slope of the line that connects this point to that point. Well, that will give you something that is approximately correct, but as you can tell, um, this is not exactly the same as the slope at this point for this curve. You could also come closer to this and take another then, as you get closer to this point, you are getting closer to the slope of the curve at this point. Now, the actual slope at this point will be the uh, tangent, this line here, that touches the curve at this point here. Let's call it P or so. Okay? Now, so the question is, how do you find the slope of the tangent to this curve at this point? That will give us the slope of the curve at the point x. So that is what we mean by the gradient of the curve. Of the curve. Okay? So we are going to um, derive a formula for doing that. Okay? So let me get rid of this. And then sketch the picture. So we have this. Let this be the curve. If I take a point here, let's call it x. Suppose I move a distance each away and pick another point here, say x plus h. So the distance from here to here is h, right? Then the value here will be f of x. The value of the function here will be f of x plus, plus h, right? This is your y. Okay? Good. Good. Okay. So now, from what we just learned here, if I wanted to just find the slope of the line connecting here to there, to this point here, that would be fine. I would just say that slope will be the rise f of x plus h minus f of x all over x plus h minus x will be h this time. Right? But as you can see, in order to get the slope at this point, you need the tangent to the curve at the point uh, at 
this point here, right? How do you get close to here? Well, by getting close to here, you'll have to move this point closer and closer to the point P here that you want, closer and closer. By so doing, H is shrinking, it's going to zero, okay? So the slope, the gradient, right? Gradient, so the gradient, gradient of your curve, Y is equal to F of X, right? At this point here, will be given by the limit as h gets smaller and smaller as h goes to zero of the slope of the line all right the slope of the line so when i'm here the slope gets smaller as i approach x i, I approach the slope of the tangent to the curve of the line so this is f of x plus h minus f of x all over h so I'll still call this M, even though um, I'm using the notation. So the gradient of your curve at any point x is given by the limit as h goes to zero, that's shrinking towards x. As h goes to zero of the rise, f of x plus h minus f of x, all over h, where h here is that, that distance. So at, as h gets smaller and smaller towards zero, you are approaching this tangent, the slope of the tangent. All right? So this is very important. This is the formula, if you like, the expression that you use to find the slope of the curve. Um, that is the derivative, right? The derivative of your function, y is equal to f of x, right? Um, is given by this expression here. Okay. So this is usually called the first principles of differentiation. So by the first differentiation, differentiation is differentiation from first principles. First principles. Okay. So f prime, f prime of x, if you like, this is the same as dy dx. By the first principles of differentiation, f prime of x or dy dx is equal to the limit as x as h goes to zero of f of x plus h minus f of x all over h. So if you succeed in finding this, finding the limit of this expression, you will get the slope or the gradient of the curve at x. If you want it at any particular point, you just replace x with that point, right? After you compute f prime of x here. Okay? So let me do a simple example to illustrate this. And then we can do uh, another one in my next video. So, given that we want to find the slope of, um, let your f of x be equal to, let's say, let me take a simple one, 2x plus one. What is the slope of this uh, this curve? Well, it's a straight line, so let's make it a bit more complicated. X squared plus one, right? So this is a curve line, it's not a straight line. So to find the slope, f prime of x, all you need to do is find the limit as h goes to zero of f of x plus h. So wherever I see x, I replace it with x plus h. So I'm going to have x plus h squared plus 1. Okay? This here is this. f of x plus h minus f of x minus f of x is the function itself, right? x squared plus 1 all over h. And then what you do next is to expand this. If you expand this, you get x squared plus 2xh plus h squared plus 1, of course, minus x squared minus 1 all over h, right? And now watch that this guy will cancel out this. 1 and negative 1 will cancel out, okay? And so... I'll put the limit here. 
And so what you are left with is the limit as h goes to zero of, I have two x h plus h squared all over h. Okay, now note that h is common here. You can factorize h out and it will cancel this out. And so if you factorize h out, you are going to have the limit as h goes to zero of, this will be left with two x, Okay, so let me factorize h. I have 2x plus h all over h. So this h cancels this h. Okay? Okay, I'm coming here. Let's get rid of this. And then we'll finish this. Now we have f prime. So f prime of x is equal to the limit as h goes to 0 of we are left with 2x plus h. So as h goes to 0, this goes to 0. And so this becomes 2x. Therefore, f prime of x is equal to 2x. Okay? So this says that the derivative, the gradient of this function, f of x, is just 2x. It's equal to that. So if you wanted the slope of this at a point, let's say x, is equal to a four, five. Then all you do is that replace this with five. F prime at five will be two times five, which is equal to ten. So the slope at five, when x is five, the slope of the curve is ten. All right. Okay. So um, that is how you find the um, how you find the derivative from first principles. All right. In subsequent videos, we'll look at some laws of differentiation that will help us to simplify this, the derivative without using the first principles approach. All right.